Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I rise today to draw attention to a troubling issue unfolding at the moment. In 2002, the Supreme Court of Canada ruled that denying inmates their ability to vote was a violation of their charter rights. Since then, all incarcerated Canadians have had the right to vote in federal and provincial elections and referendums, provided they are 18 years old or older on election day. However, under Nova, under Nova Scotia's Municipal Election Act, a person serving a sentence is disqualified from voting. Addressing this inequity is an easy legislative fix. This government is arguing in court against extending municipal voting rights to people in jails, rather than just doing the right thing. Given the high rates of Indigenous and Black incarceration, denial of the prisoner vote is also a suppression of votes of racialized populations. This government could change the act tomorrow instead of arguing against people's charter rights in court. I ask all members of this legislature to join me in advocating for them to do so.